The Quran, A Complete Revelation Translated and read by Sam Gerrans I do not absolve myself. The soul commands to evil, save that my Lord have mercy, ellipsis, I should be justly punished. To continue, my Lord is forgiving, merciful. And the king said, Bring him to me, that I might attach him to my person. And when he had talked with him, he said, Thou art this day before us established in rank and trustworthy. Said he, Set thou me over the treasuries of the land. I am a knowledgeable custodian. And thus we established Yusuf in the land over whatever he wished. We reach with our mercy whom we will, and we waste not the reward of the doers of good. And the reward of the hereafter is better for those who heed warning and are in prudent fear. And the brethren of Yusuf came and entered upon him, and he recognized them, but they recognized him not. And when he had furnished them with their provision, he said, Bring me your brother from your father. See you not that I give full measure, and that I am the best of hosts? But if you bring him not to me, there will be no measure for you with me, nor shall you approach me. They said, We will seek to lure him away from his father, and that will we do. And he said to his young men, Place their merchandise in their baggage, that they might recognize it when they return to their people, that they might return. And when they returned to their father, they said, O our father, forbidden us is the measure. Send thou with us our brother. We will obtain the measure, and we will keep him safe. Said he, Can I trust him to you, save as I trusted his brother to you before? And God is best as custodian, and he is the most merciful of those who show mercy. And when they opened their belongings, they found their merchandise returned to them. They said, O our father, what more can we ask? Here is our merchandise returned to us, and we will get provision for our people, and guard our brother, and we will have an increase by a camel's measure. That is an easy measure, said he. I will not send him with you until you give me a solemn oath before God that you will bring him back to me, save that you be surrounded. And when they had given him their solemn oath, he said, God is guardian over what we say. And he said, O my sons, enter not at one gate, but enter at diverse gates, and I cannot avail you in anything against God. Judgment is only for God. In him do I place my trust. And in him let trust those who would place their trust aright. And when they entered in what manner their father had commanded, it was not to avail them anything against God, save as a desire of Yaqub's soul which he satisfied. And he was a man of knowledge due to what we taught him, but most men know not. And when they entered upon Yusuf, he took his brother unto himself. He said, I am thy brother, be thou not distressed at what they did. And when he had furnished them with their provision, he put the drinking cup in the baggage of his brother. Then a crier cried, O you of the caravan, you are thieves. Said they, approaching them, What is it you are missing? They said, We do miss the king's cup, and for him who brings it will be a camel load, and I guarantee it, said they. By God, you know we came not to work corruption in the land, and we are not thieves. They said, And what is the reward for it, should you be liars? Said they, The reward for it is that he, in whose baggage it is found, he is the reward for it. Thus requite we the wrongdoers. And he began the search with their bags, before the bag of his brother. Then he produced it from the bag of his brother. Thus did we plan for Yusuf. He could not have taken his brother within the doctrine of the king, save that God had so willed. We raise in degree whom we will, 
and over every possessor of knowledge is one knowing. Said they, if he steals, there already stole a brother of his before. And Yusuf concealed it within his soul and did not reveal it to them. He said, you are in worse case, and God knows best what you describe. Said they, O governor, he has a father, a very aged man. So take thou one of us in his place. We see thou art among the doers of good. He said, God forbid that we take save him with whom we found our goods. Then should we be the wrongdoers. And when they despaired of him, they separated themselves for private conference. The eldest of them said, Know you not that your father took a solemn oath from you before God, and that you failed concerning Yusuf before? And I will not leave the land until my father gives me leave, or God judges in my favour, and he is the best of judges. Return to your father and say, O oh, our father, thy son stole, and we bear witness only to what we know, and we are not custodians of the unseen. And ask thou of the city in which we were, and the caravan in which we came back, and we speak the truth. He said, The truth is your souls have enticed you into a matter. Then comely patience. It may be that God will bring them to me altogether. He is the knowing, the wise. And he turned away from them and said, O oh, my grief for Yusuf! And his eyes became white from the sorrow he was suppressing. They said, By God, thou wilt never cease remembering Yusuf until thou be ready to die, or art of those who perish. He said, I but complain of my distress and grief to God, and I know from God what you know not. O oh, my sons, go and inquire concerning Yusuf and his brother, and despair not of the comfort of God. None despairs of the comfort of God save the people who spurn guidance while claiming virtue. And when they entered upon him, they said, O oh, governor, affliction has touched us and our family, and we bring paltry merchandise. Fulfill thou for us the measure, and forgive thou us by way of charity. God will reward the charitable. He said, Know you what you did to Yusuf and his brother when you were in ignorance? They said, Is it thou? Thou art Yusuf. He said, I am Yusuf, and this is my brother. God has favoured us. Whoso is in prudent fear and patient, God suffers not to be lost the reward of the doers of good. They said, By God, God has preferred thee over us, and we were those in error. He said, No blame is upon you this day. God will forgive you, and he is the most merciful of those who show mercy. Go with this my shirt, and lay it upon the face of my father. He will come to see, and come to me with your household all together. And when the caravan departed, their father said, I perceive the scent of Yusuf. Had you not thought me weak in mind, they said, By God, thou art in thine old error. Then when the bearer of glad tidings came, he laid it upon his face, and he could see again. He said, Said I not to you that I know from God what you know not? They said, O oh, our Father, ask thou forgiveness for us for our transgressions. We were those in error. He said, I will ask forgiveness for you of my Lord. He is the forgiving, the merciful. And when they entered upon Yusuf, he took his parents unto himself and said, Enter Misr in safety, if God should will. And he raised his parents upon the throne, and they fell down to him in submission. And he said, O oh my father, this is the fulfilment of my dream before. My Lord has made it true. And he did good to me when he took me out of the prison and brought you from the desert, after the shaitan had provoked to evil between me and my brethren. My Lord is subtle in what he wills. He is the knowing, the wise. 
My Lord, thou hast given me some dominion and hast taught me some of the interpretation of events. The originator of the heavens and the earth, thou art my ally in this world and the hereafter. Take thou me as one submitted, and join thou me with the righteous. That is among the reports of the unseen. We instruct thee thereby, and thou wast not present with them when they agreed upon their affair, when they were scheming. And most men, though thou be desirous, are not believers. And thou askest not of them for it any reward, it is only a remembrance for all mankind. And how many a proof is there in the heavens and the earth which they pass by, and towards which they are disinclined. And most of them believe not in God, save as idolaters. Do they then feel secure against an enveloping of the punishment of God coming upon them, or the coming upon them of the hour unexpectedly when they perceive not? Say thou, this is my way. I invite to God with insight, I and whoso follows me. And glory be unto God, and I am not of the idolaters. And we sent before thee only men whom we instructed from among the people of the cities. Have they not travelled in the land and seen how was the final outcome of those who were before them? And the abode of the hereafter is best for those who are in prudent fear. Will you then not use reason? When the messengers had despaired and thought that they had been rejected, there came to them our help, and we deliver whom we will. And repulsed not is our wrath from the evil-doing people. There is in their narrative a lesson for those possessed of insight. It is not an invented narration, but a confirmation of what is within its scope and an exposition of each thing, and guidance and mercy for people who believe. Chapter 13 In the name of God, the Almighty, the Merciful. Alif, Lam, Mim, Ra. Those are the proofs of the law, and what is sent down to thee from thy Lord is the truth, but most men do not believe. God it is who raised up the heavens without pillars you can see, and he took his place upon the throne, and he made serviceable the sun and the moon, each running for a named term. He directs the matter. He sets out and details the proofs that you might be certain of the meeting with your Lord, and he it is who spread out the earth, and placed therein firm mountains and rivers, and of every sort of fruit he made therein pairs in twos. He covers the night with the day. In that are proofs for people who reflect. And in the earth are tracts adjacent to one another, and gardens of grapes and crops and date palms, from a single stem and other than a single stem, watered with one water. And some of them we prefer in yield to others. In that are proofs for people who reason. And if thou be amazed, then amazing is their saying, Will we, when we are dust, be in a new creation? These are they who deny their Lord, and these have yokes on their necks, and these are the companions of the fire, wherein they abide eternally. And they ask thee to hasten the evil before the good, when there have come and gone before them their like. And thy Lord is full of forgiveness towards mankind, despite their injustice. And thy Lord is severe in retribution. And those who are indifferent to warning say, Oh, that a proof were but sent down upon him from his Lord. Thou art but a warner, and for every people is a guide, God knows what every female bears, and what the wounds decrease, and what they increase, and everything is with him in measure. The knower of the unseen and the seen, 
the great, the exalted. Alike among you is whoso conceals a saying, and whoso makes it public, and whoso hides by night, and goes forth by day. He has examiners before him and after him, keeping it by the command of God. God changes not what is with a people until they change what is in their souls. And when God wills evil for a people, there is no repelling it, and they have besides him no ally. He it is who shows you the lightning as fear and hope and produces the heavy clouds, and the thunder gives glory with his praise, as do the angels for fear of him. And he sends the thunderbolts and strikes there with whom he wills, and they dispute concerning God when he is strong in cunning. To him belongs the supplication of truth, And those to whom they call besides God respond not to them in anything, save as one stretching forth his two palms towards water, that it might come to his mouth, and he cannot reach it. And the supplication of those who spurn guidance while claiming virtue is only in error. And to God submits whoso is in the heavens and the earth, willingly or unwillingly, as do their shadows in the mornings and the evenings. Say thou, Who is Lord of the heavens and the earth? Say thou, God. Say thou, Take you besides him allies which have not power to do themselves benefit or harm. Say thou, Are the blind and the seeing equal, or are the darkness and the light? If they make for God partners that created the like of his creation, then the creation appears the same to them. Say thou, God is creator of all things, and he is the one, the omnipotent. He sends down water from the sky so that riverbeds flow according to their measure. Then the flood carries a swelling froth, and from what they burn in the fire to make ornaments or tools, there is a froth like it. Thus does God present truth and vanity. As for the froth, it is discarded as dross. And as for what is of benefit to men, it remains in the earth. Thus does God present examples. For those who respond to their Lord is the best. And those who have not responded to him... Had they all that is in the earth altogether, and the like thereof, they would seek to ransom themselves thereby, they have an evil reckoning, and their habitation is hell, and evil is the resting place. Is then he who knows that what is sent down to thee from thy Lord is the truth, like him who is blind? There take heed but those possessed of insight, those who fulfil the pledge of God and declare not null the agreement, and who join what God commanded thereby to be joined, and fear their Lord, and dread the evil of the reckoning, and who are patient, seeking the countenance of their Lord, and uphold the duty and spend of what we have provided them secretly and openly, and overcome evil with good. They have the ultimate abode, gardens of perpetual abode which they enter, as does whoso does right among their fathers and their spouses and their progeny. And the angels enter upon them from every gate, peace be unto you because you were patient. And excellent is the ultimate abode. But those who declare null, the pledge of God after its agreement, and sever what God commanded to be joined, and create corruption in the earth, they have the curse, and they have the evil abode. God expands and straightens provision for whom he wills, and they exult at the life of this world, and the life of this world, compared with the hereafter, is only a passing pleasure. And those who are indifferent to warning say, 
Oh, that a proof were but sent down upon him from his Lord. Say thou, God leads astray whom he wills, and guides to him such as turn back, those who heed warning, and whose hearts find rest in the remembrance of God. In truth, in the remembrance of God do the hearts find rest. Those who heed warning and do deeds of righteousness, they have blessedness and a good journey's end. Thus have we sent thee among a community. Communities have come and gone before it, that thou recite to them what we instructed thee. But they deny the Almighty. Say thou, he is my Lord, there is no God save he. In him do I place my trust, and to him is my recourse. And were there a recitation whereby the mountains were set in motion, or the earth cleft thereby, or the dead caused to speak? Ellipsis. This would be it. To continue, the truth is, to God belongs the command altogether. Do not those who heed warning know that had God willed, he would have guided mankind altogether? And those who are indifferent to warning, disaster will cease not to strike them for what they have wrought, or to come close by their abodes until the promise of God comes. God will not break the appointment. And there were mocked messengers before thee, and I reprieved those who were indifferent to warning, then I took them. And how was my retribution? Is then he who stands over every soul for what it earns? Ellipsis, in need of partners, to continue. But they have made for God partners. Say thou, name them. If you inform him of what he knows not in the earth, or if it is a show of speaking, the truth is their scheme is made fair to those who are indifferent to warning, and they are diverted from the way. And whom God sends astray, for him there is no guide. They have punishment in the life of this world, and the punishment of the hereafter is harder, and they have no defender from God. The example of the garden which is promised to those of prudent fear. Beneath it rivers flow. Its food constant, as is its shade. That is the final outcome of those who are in prudent fear. And the final outcome of those who spurn guidance while claiming virtue is the fire. And those whom we gave the law exult at what is sent down to thee. And among the parties is he who denies some of it. Say thou, I have but been commanded to serve God, and ascribe not a partnership to him. To him do I invite, and to him is my return. And thus have we revealed it as an Arabic judgment, ellipsis, that they might understand, to continue. And if thou follow their vain desires after the knowledge which has come to thee, thou wilt have against God neither ally nor defender. And we sent messengers before thee, and we made for them wives and progeny, and it was for a messenger to bring a proof only by God's leave. For every term is a decree. God eliminates what he wills, and he confirms, and with him is the foundation of the law. And if we let thee see something of what we promised them, or we take thee, but upon thee is the communication, and upon us is the reckoning. Have they not considered how we bring the earth, diminishing it from its extremities? When God judges, there is no critic of his judgment, and he is swift in reckoning. And there have schemed those who schemed before them, but to God belongs scheming altogether. He knows what each soul earns, and the atheists will come to know for whom is the ultimate abode. And those who are indifferent to warning say, Thou art not an emissary. Say thou, God is sufficient as witness between me and you, 
And whoso has knowledge of the law, ellipsis, understands these things. To continue. Chapter 14. In the name of God, the Almighty, the Merciful. Alif, Lam, Ra. A decree we sent down to thee that thou bring forth mankind from darkness into light by the leave of their Lord to the path of the mighty, the praiseworthy. God it is to whom belongs what is in the heavens and what is in the earth. And woe to those who spurn guidance while claiming virtue from a severe punishment, those who love the life of this world over the hereafter and forsake the path of God and would make it crooked. These are in profound error. And we sent a messenger only in the tongue of his people that he might make plain to them God sends astray whom he wills, and guides whom he wills, and he is the mighty, the wise. And we sent Musa with our proofs. Bring thou thy people forth from darkness into light, and remind thou them of the days of God. In that are proofs for each one, patient, grateful. And when Musa said to his people, Remember the grace of God towards you when he delivered you from the house of Firaun. They were afflicting you with an evil punishment, and killing your sons, and sparing your women. And in that was a tremendous trial from your Lord. And when your Lord proclaimed, If you are grateful, I will increase you, and if you deny, my punishment is severe. And Musa said, if you deny, you and those who are in the earth all together, then is God free from need, praiseworthy. Has not the story reached you of those before you, the people of Nuh and Ad and Thamud and those after them? None knows them save God. Their messengers came to them with clear evidence, but they returned their hands to their mouths and said, We deny that wherewith you have been sent, and we are in sceptical doubt about that to which you invite us. Their messengers said, Can there be about God any doubt, the originator of the heavens and the earth? He calls you that he might forgive you some of your transgressions and delay you to a named term. They said, You are only mortals like us, who would divert us from what our fathers served. Bring us a clear warrant. Their messenger said to them, We are only mortals like you, but God gives grace to whom he wills of his servants. And it is for us to bring you a warrant only by God's leave. And in God, let the believers place their trust. And how could we not place our trust in God when he has guided us in our ways? And we will be patient over that wherein you hinder us. And in God let those who would place their trust aright, place their trust. And those who were indifferent to warning said to their messengers, We will turn you out of our land unless you return to our creed. And their Lord instructed them, we will destroy the wrongdoers, and we will cause you to dwell in the land after them. That is for him who fears my station and fears my warnings. And they sought victory, but every obstinate tyrant failed. Behind him is hell, and he is given to drink of purulent water, he gulps it, but scarce can swallow it, and death comes at him from every quarter, but he is not to die, and behind him is a stern punishment. An example of those who deny their Lord, their works are as ashes in a violent wind on a day of tempest. They possess not anything of what they earn. That is the extreme error. Hast thou not considered that God created the heavens and the earth aright? If he wills, he will remove you and bring a new creation, and that is not difficult for God. And they will emerge before their Lord altogether, 
And those who were despised will say to those who were proud, We were your followers. Can you avail us something against the punishment of God? They will say, Had God guided us, we would have guided you. It is the same to us whether we be distressed or patient. We have no place of refuge. And the shaitan will say, when the matter has been concluded, God promised you the promise of truth. And I promised you, but I failed you. And I had a warrant against you only to call you, but you responded to me. So blame not me, but blame yourselves. I will not answer your cry, and you will not answer mine. I deny your ascribing to me a partnership before the wrongdoers, for them is a painful punishment. And those who heed warning and do deeds of righteousness are made to enter gardens beneath which rivers flow, they abiding eternally therein by the leave of their Lord, their greeting therein is peace. Hast thou not considered how God presented an example? A good word is like a good tree, its root firm and its branches in the sky. It brings its fruit every season by the leave of its Lord. And God presents examples to mankind that they might take heed. And the example of a bad word is like a bad tree uprooted from above the earth. It has no stability. God strengthens those who heed warning with a firm word concerning the life of this world and concerning the hereafter. And God sends the wrongdoers astray. And God does what he wills. Hast thou not considered those who changed the grace of God for denial and brought their people down to the abode of desolation, hell, wherein they burn? And evil is the final lodging. And they make equals to God that they might forsake his way. Say thou, enjoy yourselves. Your journey's end is the fire. Say thou to my servants who heed warning that they uphold the duty and spend of what we have provided them secretly and openly before there comes a day wherein there is neither commerce nor friendship. God is he who created the heavens and the earth and sent down from the sky water and he brought forth some fruits as a provision for you and he made serviceable to you the ship to run upon the sea by his command and he made serviceable to you the rivers and he made serviceable to you the sun and the moon both ceaseless and he made serviceable to you the night and the day and he gives you of all that you ask of him and if you should count the grace of God you could not calculate it man is a wrongdoer an ingrate and when Ibrahim said, My Lord, make thou this a secure land, and preserve thou me and my sons from serving things fashioned. My Lord, they have led astray many among men, but whoso follows me, he is of me, and whoso disobeys me, thou art forgiving, merciful. Our Lord, I have settled some of my progeny in an uncultivable valley, by thy inviolable house. Our Lord, that they uphold the duty, make thou hearts among men inclined towards them, and provide thou for them some fruits that they might be grateful. Our Lord, thou knowest what we hide and what we make known, and nothing is hidden from God in the earth or in the sky. Praise belongs to God who has given me in my old age Ismail and Ishaq. My Lord is the hearer of supplication. My Lord, make thou me one upholding the duty and some of my progeny. Our Lord, accept thou my supplication. Our Lord, forgive thou me and my parents and the believers the day the reckoning takes place. And think thou not that God is unmindful of what the wrongdoers do? 
He but grants them respite unto a day wherein the eyes will stare, straining forward, their heads uplifted, unable to look away, and their hearts void. And warn thou mankind of the day the punishment will come upon them, and those who do wrong will say, Our Lord, delay thou us a little while, we will respond to thy call and follow the messengers. Did you not swear before that there would be no end for you? And you dwelt in the dwellings of those who wronged their souls, and it was made clear to you how we dealt with them. And we presented examples to you, and they have schemed their scheme. But their scheme is before God, and if their scheme be that the mountain should vanish therefrom, think thou not that God will fail in his promise to his messengers. God is mighty, able to requite. The day the earth is changed to another earth along with the heavens, and they emerge before God, the one, the omnipotent, and thou seest the evil doers that day bound together in shackles, their garments of tar, and the fire covering their faces, that God might reward each soul for what it earned. Ellipsis, their scheme will be laid bare. To continue, God is swift in reckoning. This is a clear communication to mankind, and that they be warned thereby, and that they might know that he is but one God, and that those possessed of insight might take heed. Ellipsis, we require that thou bear witness to it. To continue.